uh, Mr. Baker, isn't it? Hello, Doctor. And uh, I'm operating on you tomorrow morning, aren't I? Good. What, what do you do for a living, Mr. Baker? I am a baker. <laughs> of course, it's, we're, all, we're all named after our jobs, aren't we? Yes. You'll be Mr. Doctor, then. <laughs> no such luck, I'm afraid. Uh, my name is Mr. Barber. How do you do? <laughs> Uh, the doctoring's just a sideline. I had a few hours spare a week, and I've got all the sharp things, so it seemed logical. <laughs> so, after the operation, I can give you a bit of a trim, if you like. Goaties are back in. Oh, no, thank you, uh, Barber. Well, if you change your mind, just yell. You come to think of it, you'll probably be yelling anyway. So <laughs> well, I just wanted a little chat. Put your mind at rest. Make sure you know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to die, aren't I? We're all going to die, Mr. Baker. <laughs> Obviously, some of us a lot sooner and in considerably more agony than others. <laughs> but in the end, it's the hot fires of hell for all of us, isn't it? Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes, um, putting your mind at rest. Well, I've had a look at your chart, and things aren't as bad as they might be. No? No, because the moon is in Jupiter, which is a good thing. <laughs> Now, I understand you've been suffering from persistent headaches. So what we're going to do tomorrow is simply cut a large hole in the top of your head with a, a saw-type thing. And then flip out the disc of bone with a little jemmy and uh, simply let the headaches out. <laughs> and that's your treatment for headaches, is that you're going to cut off the top of my head? Oh, good heavens, no. What do you think this is? The Dark Ages? <laughs> I, shall, I shall then apply a warmed Quicksilver brain balm. Meaning? I'm going to pour hot mercury into the hole in your <laughs> Give it a bit of a stir with my brain spoon here. <laughs> and tide you up, seal up the hole with some tar, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Any questions? Well, it hurt. <laughs> Oh, I thought so, yes, wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, having the top of your head cut off bound to cause a bit of jip, isn't it? <laughs> I'd expect you to feel a little bit of discomfort in the early stages. Right. <laughs> followed by blinding agony shortly after. <laughs> Good! Well, that's the spirit. And don't worry, it really is a very routine procedure. And it works. Well, let's not confuse routine with success. <laughs> But I'd say we'll have you out of here in three days. Three days? That'll be brilliant. Well, it'll most likely be the hemorrhaging and the gangrene, actually. <laughs> See you tomorrow.